Hey guys, my name is Pete and welcome to The Verge and welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator in VR. Let's check it out. Pete Virch here in sunny Wellington, the capital of New Zealand. And here's a uh, Edgeley E7 Optica, designed in the 70s. It's a um, funny cockpit. It's almost like a helicopter with um, 270 degrees view horizontally. And it's um, powered by a six cylinder, I think it is, um, and a fixed pitch uh, air duct kind of vein proposition. It's got two booms, two rudders, and yeah, funky little thing. So uh, let's take it for a ride. I'm recording this in the quest for a change. So hopefully the video is not as bad. All right, let's close the door. Hope you can hear that, it's quite a satisfying click. And let's start this up with this goddamn awful 3D mouse. Start. Fantastic. All right. Set the um, flaps to take off. This actually is a handbrake. It's a bit weird, I know. And um, it's got two fuel tanks, and it's recommended that you switch between the two to keep it balanced. And there's a balance ballast indicator up there to tell you if you're unbalanced. Who would be unbalanced? All right, let's check out Wellington. It's a noisy bugger. So we've got airspeed, attitude, bearing, altitude, and rate of climb. Quite a funky little plane. This is um, Island Bay, you can see there. And this is a greater Wellington Harbour. Might turn that down a bit. So this is the capital of New Zealand, as I've already said, built on a major fault line. Liking the visibility. Up. Oh man, all around really. Apart from those really thick structural members. I'm sure in the 21st century they could do better than that. So Wellington's a natural harbour. Um, James Cameron lives over there. Um, Avatar fame. Et al. So this is kind of Murabar up here where the airport is. It's uh, surprisingly short kind of runway for an international airport and it's surrounded by sea on both ends 
And what, apart from being the political centre of New Zealand, Wellington's claim to fame is it's really goddamn awful weather. And it's really windy. So that's the um, airport terminal down there. And I've done it up recently. It used to be really awful. Yeah, so like a lot of New Zealand is not handcrafted as, as you would expect. Throttle off and get the Right, let's put the flaps up and see if we can't trim it out of it. So this is the CBD of uh, the capital. Oh, there's another plane. You can see um, the landing is not the, the approach is not the best. But I'm sure other airports are worse. There's a few things missing here. Yeah, hopefully Microsoft will get around to fixing it. It's pretty low on their priority list, I imagine. So that's the CBD. It actually looks way better than it does in the sim. We've got a massive um, sports stadium around here somewhere. and the beehive which I can't see should be down there but it's not yeah this is pretty basic Get some height. Oh, it didn't like that. Hmm. Okay, the rate of climb's not the best in this thing. So anyway, let's get into straight and level flight. Unfortunately this model does have a tendency to bank either way and spin out to certain death. But um, here we are, flying above Wellington in the Optica. Awesome. Anyway, I'll um, take this little baby for a for a fly somewhere else, and hopefully, recording the headset's going to be a lot better for the viewers. It still looks the same in the headset, but the recording should be better. See what I mean? It's just decided to like bank to the left. Here we go. Anyway, guys, let's um, bugger off to the outro. 
see you next time well i hope you like that if so hit subscribe hit the like let me know what i can do better in the comments and i'll see you later at microsoft flight simulator awesome